Good morning. It is June 3rd, Thursday. We are heading to Hollywood Studios. We got up at 6.55 to try to get the boarding pass for the Rise of the Resistance. And Holly managed to do it on her phone. So I used the Disney app. Robert has it on his phone with our reservation information. And then Holly has it on her phone with our information. And since we're connected, if she got through, it would be for all of us. If he would have got through, it would have been for all of us. She got through. So, but studios don't open till nine. It's now like 8.15. So we are walking to Hollywood Studios to hopefully meet them in the front at 8.30. It might be a couple minutes late. That was hard getting up this morning. So hard getting up this morning. But here we go. This is the walking path to the boardwalk. I'm sorry, the boardwalk. I'm sorry, this is the walking path to Hollywood Studios behind the boardwalk. You see those boats? They're called the friendship boats. We could have also taken the friendship boat there, but it's a beautiful morning. I want to walk. Honestly, I'm always hoping I'll see an alligator on this walk. I have not yet, but maybe one day. All right, look at this. Park's not even open. It's gonna be a busy, busy, busy day at Hollywood Studios. Look, not this room. Ronta Roasters. I keep saying Ronda. Ronta Roasters. I got we got the breakfast sandwich. Holly, what is this? Holly got some kind of sampler. That's a sampler. This is like chips. It's a very thin pork rind. Those are actually really good. It's cool. It's 
I have the classic tan one. I want the blue one. I didn't know the creature boxes could do the side. Did you notice it's moving? Yeah. Oh, he's like holding a. I didn't know he was holding a stuffed animal. I didn't know that. Is there no plush you wanted? No, I don't. I just want to do it. It's only because I'm so Should I buy this droid? No. Should I buy this girl a droid? No. Oh, please. Come look at this one over here. What is it? Like an ornament? It's 1.30, me and Bob are leaving Hollywood Studios for just about an hour. Um, Haley is building a lightsaber, the expensive lightsaber where you can only have two people, so we couldn't go in with her. And then they want to ride Rock and Roller Coaster after that, and it currently has an hour wait. And that's one ride we don't ride. So we're going back to the room to drop off our creatures. Robert? Mine's died. Uh-oh, his creature fell over and died. And then I got fuzzy face. a fuzzy face. Don't ask me to say these names. I know them. I, I really do. But not right now in my heat stroke brain. Um, <laughs> sorry, I can't remember their names. So my I went a little crazy buying stuff. So going back to the room to drop off our stuff, grab some more water from the front desk, because you know I love my free water. And then I told Holly to text me as soon as they started getting in line for Rock and Roller Coaster because I bet by the time we come back, they're still not gonna be done with it. That's why I love staying at this hotel. It's a 15 minute walk 
15 minute walk for me and Robert. I can't say it's a 15 minute walk for everyone because everyone walks at a different pace. But for me and Robert, it's 15 minutes. It's perfect. I don't know. You know, I can't think of any other hotel, hotel, hotels where you can walk the two, two parks. You yeah. know what I mean? Yes. This whole that area is perfect. So that means I have no problem going back to Hollywood Studios so we can ride Tower of Terror with them. And then later tonight, we're going to go to Epcot and eat some food, finish the scavenger hunt that we didn't finish yesterday, and eat all the festival food that we didn't finish yesterday. So Epcot stays open till 10 right now, um, but the festival food kind of ends like around nine, just depends on the booths and how much food they have left. So we know, so basically from nine to 10, you can ride all the rides at Epcot without much weight. So yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. So it was a great morning. The Rise of the Resistance was awesome. I'm gonna have a separate video on that. Uh, Millennium Falcon was awesome. It's just hot and crowded. Human. And I'm not, listen, it's gonna rain. It is gonna rain. So when I say it's hot and crowded, I'm not complaining. I'm pointing out the obvious. <laughs> so it's June. You know, Disney can say they're only doing half capacity all they want. It's a lie. Because if this is only half capacity, I would hate to see what full capacity is. It's packed. So currently Disney, the mask mandate, you only have to wear it inside buildings when you go in to get something to eat, when you go into the gift shops, or when you get into the queue of a ride. Um, I actually forgot to put it on on one gift shop and my sister pointed it out to me. No one else did, so they're not, they're not like gonna attack you or anything. Well, in my opinion, they, they're not, but maybe it's because I'm super friendly. So it's one of those situations where you attract, what is that, honey? More bees with honey much, than yeah. salt. And they're probably tired of hearing about it from people. Yeah. yeah. If I was a cast member, I'd be tired of it. Yeah, they're, nobody wants to be the mask police. Well, some people do. Some people like them. Some people like being the mask police. I don't. To each his own. To each, is that a snake? There's no snake. There could be. No, there There's a sign. It says it's a possibility. It says Disney. All things possible. There's a hotel. Almost there.